What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? It's Gibbo Air here with another episode of World of Warcraft in the Chrono Steam server. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, Grant, right, we're back into it. Um, I died not shortly after stopping the last recording. Um, a couple of the... A couple of the mobs glitched out over here, and it took me a minute to realize that none of my attacks were actually hitting it, yet it was hitting me for the full effect. And, uh, badness. It wasn't nice. I died. However... Find it. Find it. Find it. Find... No? Maybe? Salvi Patty! Pally. Salvi Patty. <laughs> oh, we, sco we sold stuff. Um, Salvi Patty resurrected me. So, we may continue on our grand journey to slay the uh, Curzon thing, people. Shut up, I don't know. Right, we need three more of these medicine guys, and we need four more of the jungle fighters, which we shouldn't have too much trouble getting. Uh, the jungle fighters are not looking too common here at the moment. Ooh. Tricky, right, okay. Oh, we don't want to deal with that many of them too fast. Right, we'll start on this guy. If we aggro that one, that's fine. We didn't, so whatever, it's okay. We'll get our yoke on. We have everything set up straight away. Okay, that's fine. Good. Wait for the heal, and then we'll get this kicked. Okay, so the last time we made our way down here, it's Stranglethorn Vale, and we started our quest lines. We've been over to Nessie where we, we had a little chat with him, and we realized that he's a psychopath that just likes to murder things. Um, we went over to... Oh, go on them healers. Right, we'll pop this straight away. Now this. And then we just go himmy ham. And what the plan is, we kick and blind. And then we go on this one. And then we eviscerate as swiftly as possible. Excellent. Not enough no, we need to go on the medicine man. I'm stuck again. Jesus, these are actually quite a hard bunch to fucking kill. Um, we'll get this one definitely, but I may not get the next one. We're pulling like groups of three of these, by the way. It's not exactly the most intelligent thing in the world. I'm gonna stun him. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put a bleed on him, however. And that should be enough for me just to push him away. Yeah, that's okay. I probably would have been better with the eviscerate there, to be honest with you. But hey, what can you do? Okay, two more fighters, and now two more jungle remi remedies. Uh, we need to kill a load of tigers and raptors and various other things as we go along as well. So we will do that as we proceed through the dungeon or instance area place thing. Yeah, what I mean. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, grand. I must. I killed four, apparently. I was not aware of that. Right, gonna get my health back just for a moment, just before we continue on. Can I cook maybe something? Perhaps that could be an idea. Not too sure if I can. Oh yes, we have a fire here, so I can totally do that. Right, so we're gonna kill this guy, and then we're gonna get. Well, hopefully I can kill this guy, and then we're gonna get a. We're gonna cook a little bit of food, and then we are going to go back, and we're gonna hand these quests in because while I do have another quest to go into that cave inside, when we go back, I think we are actually. Oh, we're just gonna eat this. That's perfectly fine. You just chill for a second there, medicine man. Be chill. I'm eating my cheese. That was enough, that's fine. Okay, um, we're gonna go back and we're gonna hand those quests in because we are gonna get a quest to go in there and kill commandos and commanders or some shit like that. Or You know what I mean? Like, it's, There's gonna be other things that we have to... No, I fucked up! No, I didn't, I made it! No, kill it! Ah, yes, you fucking bitch! How do you like damn apples? Motherfucker, excellent. Delightful. Okay, so again, this is the same evening that I just watched the uh, Warcraft episode. Uh, so I'm still in very good spirits having watched it. It was fucking excellent. Um, my plan is I'm going to get this episode done. I thought I heard something being cast. Uh, I'm going to get this episode done. I'm going to start uploading the other one that I just recorded. Uh, because I'm trying to get as many episodes uploaded for you guys as possible. Again, I'm not going to build up a bank like I normally do. I'm just going to upload them as I do them. Uh, and I think that's the best way for me to proceed for the time being. Until uh, I A, either improve my rig. Which I don't think I really need to. Or B, improve my recording skill and my finger rings. Because I think that was actually the main issue. Oh, we're finished. Hey. Gonna eat the cheese first, though, anyway, because... Uh, gotta eat that cheese. No, I don't think I actually need to improve my rig. I think that's actually incorrect. Um, the PC is fine. Uh, it's just that I made a mistake with a couple of different things while I was attempting to do a couple of different things, and that's what actually caused the corrupted footage. But, yeah, well, yeah it was fine. We live and learn. We live and learn. We live and learn. Yeah. 
The great thing about being down here in Stranglethor Vale is that I'm going to get a lot more leather. Uh, because pretty much all of the 30 mobs that we need to kill are going to be skinnable for that other guy, Nessingwary. Okay, Peter, eat your heart out. We're going to head up here and we're going to hand these pests. Come back, get the lockbox, kill whatever else he wants me to kill. And then along the way, we are going to kill all of these guys. Because we need to get a lot of them. Now, we haven't killed any of the raptors because they are the other way as far as where there might be a little troll area. I think in that troll area is probably where we find the raptors. There's so much racism and bigotry in the chat. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. If you ever do throw your eye down there, you will see horrific things being said. Uh, I'm not going to blur them out around like that because A, I don't fucking know how. And B, it, it's not me saying it and it doesn't represent my views. So, yeah, go with it. Whoa. Did somebody stealth behind me there? Or was that just the other sounds of my stealth? Sweet! Anyway, um... Yeah, this is a bit of a grindy quest area in terms of actual the amount of mobs that we need to kill. Now, we're storming our way through it here now at the moment, because we are ever so slightly higher level than we need to be. That's going to change very rapidly, however. Uh, this quest area gets quite difficult quite fast. Um, the, uh, the level requirement increases dramatically for uh, quests as you work your way through it and it does actually get quite tricky so if you're not on the ball with it it can really catch you out also we've got a lot of items that we need to collect in terms of paper and stuff like that and for the Strangathorn Vale journal thing you know what I mean uh, that's another thing that we need to actually be doing as well uh, and you can actually purchase a lot of them off the auction house so I wouldn't really worry too much about getting that done uh, and like you can see I'm just kind of tipping away at these as I kind of I'm going back and forth between quest hubs uh, we'll probably get all this finished then on our way into go get the raptors that we'll need to kill this and then on the way back to hand those quests in if we're missing any we'll pick them up along the way um, I kind of made a bollocks of this kind of rotation here but it's fine like I said like these mobs are six levels below me we're not going to have any trouble killing them but they're easy to kill they're going to give us a quest um, experience uh, open up other quests that we can then potentially do then later and not only that they're going to give us an absolute fucking ton of letter you're going up there to cause some trouble. That's the only reason you'd head up there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go hand these quests in. And then when I come back, we'll be at the Curzon Compound. And... Uh, where are you going? We will be at the Curzon Compound. And we will be doing the next section of our quest. So... Okay, here we are. Back at camp. Can I help Sup, you? Sergeant Yohua. Well done. The last time will relieve some of the pressure. Wait. 165. Oh my god, we're nine, We're fucking 88 experience away from finally being done. This is it. This gets us exalted. Clearly. We'll pick this. We'll sell it for more. Exalted with storm wind. Sheep mount. Here we come. Now, two more levels and a fucking ton of gold. And now we need to kill Curzon Commandos and Curzon Head Shrinkers. You see, there was, a, uh, there was a logic to not showing up there sooner. Okay. Camp Trader. Can you sell me things that I can't get anywhere else? Like roast raptor. Oh, yes. Jungle stew. Oh, yes. Take all of these. Wait, what's our one? We've got... Those require level 35. 18 in the difference. Yeah, we'll take a bunch of them as well. No, no, those are useful. We're, we're good on bags. Thanks to the viewers. Thank you to everyone that has sent me bags. They've been fucking great. Grizzly whiskers sell for quite a lot. Actually, I, I was wondering if I should just drop those. Sell all the greys. Just get all of that extra silver back into our inventory. Yeah, let's sell this big BOE. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be fucking stupid, Gibbo. <laughs> okay. Jungle two, and then we're going to keep that. These are going to replace those. Can I sell these? No, but we will destroy them. Uh, what else was I going to do? Itch my nose. <laughs> Crockpot. All I all I saw there when I looked at that was crackpot. And I was just like, you're you're fucking what? Be careful. Okay, let's learn these recipes really fast. I'm probably not going to do the jungle stew ever, but the raptor flesh we have in abundance, so I will be doing. Do you know what? Let's fucking roast some raptor while I'm here. Give me your hot spices, there, friend. Well met. Spice me up, motherfucker! You don't have any shit. Well, that fucking friend. sucks. Um, is there like a tradesman or maybe something floating around here? No. Hey there. He wants four tablets of what? 
within the troll runes. Okay, they're scattered in and around the place. We'll we'll do that as we go along. I thought he might have had a quest for me there. He doesn't. Anyone else? No, no, that's everything. Okay, we're going to make our way back out into the world here, and we're going to get some stuff done. We are going to start running out of inventory space very, very soon here, so we need to be careful about what we're picking up, when we're picking up, and how much of it we're picking up. Um, need to be on a ball with that. Ah, shit, I should have sold that as well. We'll do that when I get back. Okay, there we go again. I'm going to sprint up to this uh, panther, and I'm going to cut its head off. Again, sorry, Peter. That's, that's how we roll down here. Shivved, Waha, sliced, ruptured, ever so slightly closer to death. So now we're exalted with Stormwind, which is fucking excellent. Um, apparently that goes up to a thousand. These bristly whiskers, ooh, nearly didn't skin it. Bristly whiskers are selling for quite a lot, so I'm quite happy to continue getting them off these mobs, because I can just vendor them and get a substantial amount of silver. Okay, so now we need troll tablets from the various different... Uh, Troll runes scattered throughout the Stranglethorn Vale. Um, they're big, huge tablet -y things. Like, they're actually very hard to miss. Um, he says now, but wait, you see later when I'm itchy you know, when I, I'm unable to find it and I get lost in the way. I'm also going to keep my eye out for any Scarlet Monastery groups that may be going. If we can get a Scarlet Monastery group, I'm going to Hearthstone up the South Shore and I'm going to take that quest that I was advised to do by one of ye. Again, thank you very much. Uh, it is great when you guys point out certain little nooks and crannies and things like that I can use to kind of just get myself back into the game. Because uh, we have fallen behind on our weapons. Uh, absolutely, we are definitely lacking in the weapon department at the moment. But we will we will sort this problem out. Uh, and that was one of the things that Vanilla always... You had to manage that as well, was that you had to uh, consistently replace gear as it became obsolete as you leveled up. Um... Whereas nowadays, it's just kind of like, our oh, heirloom gear, oh, it's perfect, it's great. But it's not, because it just makes you fucking lazy. And it, it took away that whole reward sense when you, you, you got anything fucking done. Whereas, like, as you guys can see, whenever anything drops that I find particularly awesome or good, like, it gets, it elicits a response from me. I do, I feel fucking great. You get this kind of sense of, hey, look, I've achieved something. I've actually acquired the thing that I needed. I'm now going to numb walk all the way over here. Look at this war ro rogue. I cannot talk. Look at this rogue going ham. Ham is a motherfucker. You see, that rogue was smart. It sapped one of the other things there, so that way they wouldn't have to deal with it. Oh, we, we are full of panthers now, by the way, as well. That's pretty sweet. Um, we will fly through the first bunch of all these quests, and what's going to happen is now that we get into the, the next kind of sections of these quests, it's going to get remarkably more difficult as I go along. Um, as you can see, these are all level 34, 33, and all that shit. Oh, damn, they've killed, like, everything. Well, that's fine. I'll make my way in, and then I'll kill everything on the way back out. You know, hey, whatever. Um, there might be, like, an escort quest or something like that in here as well. We have to remember that. P -p -p my plan being, then, once I get all these quests done, I'm probably going to Hearthstone, go back to South Shore, pick up that quest anyway, so I can get it done as soon as possible, and then fly down to Stranglehorn Vale while I AFK, go watch a video or something like that, and then when I get down there, do the other quest that we have now for the Crockpot, Crackpot, you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Let's see how squishy these aren't. I also want to find out how hard they hit. Did you just shrink my head? You son of a fucking bitch. He shrunk us. Look at us, we're, we're this tiny little creature now. This tiny little ineffective speck. Not at all, look, we're basically headbutting him in the nuts. That's what we're doing right now. We are nutting him right in the nutsack. Look at it, we're just going, what the hit Then every now and again we just like kind of prod him with our little butter knives here. Okay. Look at us, we're tiny. What happens if they shrink a dwarf? Or like a gnome? Ugh, that's awkward. You know, you're tiny, and they're already tiny, and then you're already tiny, and then this is fucked. Right, let's figure out where I'm supposed to go, because I actually don't know. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but now it's happened, so hey. We're gonna just move up here a wee bit, come back, get him ruptured, stabbed. Jibbity! No, we're good, don't hit me with your shadowy magic shit. Oh man. Give me your jungle remedies, because we will sell that shit. Curse an elite? Is it actually an elite? No, it's not. That's good. The elites would be near the stuff, wouldn't they? 
Nah, now this is looking like it might be questy. I see something here. Ah, uh, Herod. Are you here, buddy? I'm gonna cut your fucking head off. He's not. He's not. We might have to kill an elite just to uh, be able to loot this, which is fine. I'd rather do the witch doctor first. I am gonna end up doing the witch doctor first. Okay, we're gonna do both. Pop a slice and die straight away. Let's start spreading that damage around like we want to spread the loot. He's whirlwinding the shit out of me right now, which is not good, but what can you do? When you fully loot. Get the eviscerate off. Excellent. Let's not pull anymore. Shit, 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 shit. Throwing knife. Save me the. Perfect. Who said anything about panicking? I never said anything about panicking. Okay, we're gonna stun him and then we're gonna try and finish him off now here while he's stunned. Oh, we fucking failed miserably. Oh, let's just loot it and get out of here. We're gonna get the bookmakers. It's clear that this is where it keeps his more valuable items. Take the muddy note to Lieutenant Doran at their Okay, cool, that's fine. Uh, I believe we now have this quest done. We're going to make, make our way back into where the quest mobs that we actually need are. And then we're going to start grinding those on the way out. As you can see, there's people actually on their way in here now. So they were obviously looking for this area as well. But when we get back out, we'll grind out the rest of these mobs. And then I'll go back and I'll hand the quest in. And I think we then get a quest to actually kill Colonel Burson himself. Which would be the next bit. Um, and then we're probably going to start wandering around Stranglethorn a bit more. As opposed to being localized to this area. Sounds like a plan. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. this motherfucker and his head shrinking and he thinks he's all that in a bag of fucking biscuits. Back in my day, you didn't shrink fucking the head for anything less than a fiver. And you guys here, you are doing it for fucking free. You think you're fucking so fucking cool, don't you? With your fucking head shrinking and all that shit. It's fucking, it's disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. There's no shame these days. There's no fucking shame. No shame in the head shrinkery business. It's like, what the fuck am I talking about? I don't fucking know. Right? It's late. I'm dying of a fucking hangover. These things are to be expected. I'm expected to talk waffly shite when I have a hangover. It's a part of life. Fuck you, Curzon Commando. Not today. The old character models look fairly rough. <laughs> this guy. Well, it was a really pretty game. Like, the graphics aren't, like, overly taxing on a computer. Let's be realistic here. But it is a pretty kind of graphic that they use. You know what I mean? You know what it reminds me of? You know the Long Dark? It reminds me of the graphic style of the Long Dark. That's what it does. It's got that kind of cartoony-esque kind of thing going for it. And I think that actually looks pretty good. Okay. My hand still hurts from punching the wall a few days ago. Well, that was fucking genius. Why did you punch a fucking wall? That'd be my, uh, my question there to you, sir. Okay, uh, somebody's obviously ground all these mobs out, so... But I'm... I think they actually spawn at the tower over here as well. So you know what, let's actually quickly, just before I stop recording, pop my head over here and see if we're able to get a couple of them killed here. And if we can, happy days. If not, oh, we can. Yes, excellent. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that, but it works, so whatever. Um, yeah, so we'll get a couple of more killed here, hopefully, and then we'll head back there if we need to, to finish off, get the rest of the quest done. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to upload a video pretty much straight away now. Um, and I'm not ever going to build up a bank of them. But I probably will eventually, but when I get a better system or an idea of how to manage that shit. Rather than just kind of winging it and then losing the footage that I may potentially lose. Like, the episodes that I lost, I suppose, weren't the worst ones in the world that I could have lost. But at the same time, any lost episode is a fucking, like, that's a kick in the teeth for me. Like... We're gonna do it. Okay. Gonna sap this one. Go on to the next one. Sap girls can't say no. That's disgusting. Um, but this guy won't be able to do jack squat. And then we're gonna go on this one. We're gonna pop blade furry, evasion straight away, and now this. And then we're just gonna go hibbity ham on them. 
We have slice and dice up. Yeah, so we're fucking. We're, oh, we got stunned. I'm gonna eviscerate straight away. Oh, yeah, we got it off. That's okay. Pop a bleed on this guy. He's probably gonna run away now in a moment. And we're gonna go straight onto this one now. I got stunned. Keeping an eye on this fucker. Finish that one off. I was gonna blind him, but you know, hey, whatever. Gonna get my energy back. That was a oh shit, he's done this. Oh fuck me, man, that's hard. No, 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 no. Oh, we have it. We've got this. We've got this. We got this. Boom. Bam, man. Handled like a fucking pro. <laughs> Who needs hotkeys? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm using. I'm using hotkeys with the numbers, for fuck's sake. That that counts as a hockey, Sean. Shut the fuck up. Right, we got three more there. I'm quite impressed with myself. I know they're lower than me and all that shit, but who cares? That was three mobs at once. That's that's hard to manage as a rogue. Oh, man, itchy nose. What's hard is getting used to actually utilizing all the different utilities that you have at your disposal. Um, mobs back in Vanilla WoW, sorry, um, classes back in Vanilla WoW had loads of little neat little moves that they don't have today. Shit. Um, that they could use to be able to manage like weird little situations like that, and you'd be surprised. You, you could, there was all sorts of weird little moves that you like had for like various different utilities that you could just kind of throw them into the mix, and they would just make a certain thing very, very easy all of a sudden. I can't think of any specific examples right now immediately, but there was a fair few that definitely um, that they got rid of them anyway. They've been phased out now in the modern version of WoW, but. Um, they were definitely useful in their their own neat little ways. It was all about just kind of finding a way to integrate them into your uh, your gameplay. Okay, shit. You see, I just want the one or two loose ones here. I don't want to pull like three or four of them again. I, I don't fancy that stress in my life. Yeah, we'll just have to work our way back up here from the back. Uh, that'd probably be the best bet. We only need two head shrinkers. I could probably pull an easy one or two somewhere in and around here. No need to stress ourselves out here. We are going to end up having to do two here, unfortunately. Which is fine. I'm going to pop slice and dice. We'll melt the head shrinker fairly fast, even though he's going to fucking make me tiny, but whatever. Um, and we've already done half the health and damage to this commando, so we're not going to have any issues for you taking them out here. But again, I, I don't want to do too many of these weird kind of like three or four mob pulls. I want to try and keep life nice and simple here and fluid. Thanks for the help, friend. Yeah. I believe I may have some Stormwind Bree on me somewhere that I may have looted along the way. I did. We're going to eat this. We're going to chill out for a second. And I'm going to have a slurp of my uh, soda. Wet my throat. Mmm. That advertising. I wish. Right. Our health is pretty much nearly back to spec here. You probably notice I am starting to run out of puff and steam in terms of actually uh, being chitty chatty. I am actually starting to get quite tired. The hangover is definitely catching up with me. And the buzz after sitting down and watching the movies is definitely starting to wear off. So uh, I am going to wrap things up after this episode. I won't have the uh, the, uh, the enthusiasm to continue recording and doing stuff. I, I'm in the mood to play, but I'm not in the mood to be chitty and chatty. Like, I haven't got anything in my mind that I want to discuss at this moment. Like, usually when I, I hop on, I have something that I want to talk about, or like, there's going to be some main drive behind the core message of the episode, if you know what I mean. I, I don't know. There'll be, there'll be a fucking... <laughs> There'll be something that I'll be able to... Shit! Oh, we ended up pulling an extra one, I didn't realise. Okay, right, fuck. Line of sight, you know, just to keep pulling them and buying me a bit of time. You'll notice I'm just kind of... Oh, shit. You'll notice I was just kind of... Oh, no, this is getting tricky. Might have to vanish here now in a second. We'll definitely have to vanish here now in a second, but I don't want to have to do it two or three times. So what I'm doing now is I'm just looting everything while I can and gone. We're good. Okay, I'm going to start making my way back out because we only need one more commando. And there he is. All by himself. So we're going to fucking get him now before these get here. Oh, shit. Well, now we're going to do him now, aren't we? We're going to pop this straight away. Pop this. Thank you. You're a fucking legend. I have fuck all health. You're making this remarkably easy for me now. Just because you didn't get shrunk. 
Okay, and now they're probably going to aggro everyone on the way out. So I'm going to use that to my advantage and now just break a break for it. Do 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 Gone. You see how all these mobs now are running back so I can get away past them and they won't aggro them. Oh, I did aggro something else though, but it doesn't matter because we're scot-free. Not a problem. Boom. So I'm going to go back and hand this quest in and then we're going to see where we go from there. So blah, blah. Okay, and here we are back in the camp. Uh, I set myself on fire, so the spy revealed. Muddy note. We'll hand that in. Get another 2,000 thing. Okay, Thorson. The person shared the patrol route with Thorson. Okay. Tells me you were skilled at brave. Do you have something to report? We killed a load more stuff. Ring Curzon's head. Okay, so now we need to kill six Curzon Kurz elite. Four Curzon subchiefs and bring Curzon's head to Lieutenant Doran Careful. at the camp. <laughs> okay, it's not do? like you're asking a lot, friend. I just burped there, by the way. Apologies if I discussed that anyone. I'm not apologizing. I don't care. No. Um, I'm just gonna vendor any crap that we have here, like this. It's not crap. Like I'm sure that would be good for someone somewhere, but uh, not me. Is this actually sweet nectar? Okay, it is. Yeah, we're gonna vendor that. <laughs> Not hanging on to that crap, because I'm not a dirty rotten mage. Right, and you know what? I'm going to move this over here, because that's actually something that I am going to eventually try and sell. Probably will want to sell you too. And you're going to get sold as well. And any other items, then we can just kind of go, and just sell them straight away. We're not going to worry about them. We'll hang on to these, because we can sell them in the auction house, because people will want to buy them to complete the quest quicker. Or the alliance. Which would have been smart. I think we're up to like 60 gold now, aren't we? 30 gold away. Do you know what we're getting quicker at making it? We are starting to steam along. Corporal Sethman. Can I help you? Oh yes, I can check that for you. Let's see. Last week it was why well, it was Private Merle shuttled with Taurus, and they had the same patrol times all of last week. Did Henry want you to report back to him with that patrol? Be careful. Uh, probably. Hey there. What the fuck? Do you want me to help? kill him? I, I assume I'm supposed to kill him now, am I? There's like how many of them? Are there? Why is my health so low? Was I combat locked? Am I combat locked? What can I do for you? I think I am combat locked. I think I was in combat the whole way. Oh shit! Right, um, this daughter, is strange, <laughs> okay, but he's dead now, so fuck him, um, yeah, there's a lot of them there, I'm tab targeting them there, as you can see, um, I think there's actually only two left, but hey, whatever, uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up here, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to effectively get anything else done this episode, I'll just be kind of half hour starting things, Colonel Curzon is an elite, that's gonna be interesting, uh, I don't think we'll have too much trouble doing that one. Um, so it makes sense to wrap this one up here and then I'm going to come at it then with full of steam then in the morning. Right, so this has been Giveaway Air, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like down below and possibly consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything that happened in this video, like why the fuck am I combat logged and how did that happen? Because I'm, I'm not really 100% censored. It's probably because I ran out of the fucking thing when there was like 20 million mobs all aggroed everywhere. But who knows? Or why is Private Thorson um, helping out this Private Merle? Or is he helping out Private Merle? Is this secretly the problem How right here? You? This guy. Safe uh, is he the one we need to be worried about? Who fucking knows? Leave it down in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if I don't get back to you, it's probably because I didn't see your comment. I do try to get back to everyone. So please don't be offended if I don't manage to. Okay, I reckon we leave it there. So... I'm building up a pause. Take it, Andy! Bye!